and that is that BBOS 10.3.3 was finally released. It was in such a long queue, it took so long to get released and now it's finally here. It's a part of the last two updates that will come to BlackBerry 10 so this is called BlackBerry 10.3.3. There will be 10.3.4 later this year I think but 10.3.4 will be the last one so we will have another one after that. So what are the updates in this version? And they're pretty subtle to be honest. It's mainly a security and maintenance update. So it has a slightly better performance, a better RAM management and it has the NIAP certification which is a certification from the US government and it means that it's certified to the highest level which means it's a very very secure phone and it's actually so secure that governments can use it which is great. So other features are that the Android runtime bug was fixed that you couldn't delete any applications there was a fix before but many people had problems with downloading that fix so now it's completely new in that 10.3.3 update. Also they updated the browser a bit which means that you now get alerts when your download is finished and it also added some new phishing filter for your browser to make it even more secure but otherwise there are no more features in the OS that a user can really notice. What I heard is that the trackpad is now usable in more areas but I'm not sure about that because my phone didn't receive the update yet and I hope I'll get it soon so I can report what I feel about that new update and what is new with 10.3.3. So let's continue to a very very nice and exciting news which is that the Blackberry Mercury was finally leaked with a physical device in hands of a guy and it's great. I've waited so long for final leaks to release and now we have it. So on the photos you see a mix in my opinion of the Blackberry Classic and the Blackberry Passport Silver Edition. So the top looks a lot like the Blackberry Passport Silver Edition. That's probably where, they, where Blackberry got its inspiration from. And the bottom looks a lot like the Blackberry Classic's keyboard. The display seems to be a 4x3 aspect ratio which is obvious because Android is much better in a 4x3 aspect ratio than a 1x1 as it is on the Blackberry Passport or the Blackberry Classic. But I, in my opinion this phone looks very very nice. It does appear a bit long though but it looks very nice. Also in the pictures you can see the fingerprint sensor which is incorporated in the spacebar which is very promising. It, it looks like a very nice feature and a very intuitive way to unlock a physical keyboard device. Also it seems to be that the phone will be made out of aluminum. The top looks a lot like a, the aluminum frame of the BlackBerry Silver Edition which would be nice. It looks like a high quality device just like the BlackBerry Classic was. The keyboard looks very nice. It's a four row keyboard with the all keys that we all saw on the BlackBerry Classic and that I personally really like because it's not too wide and it's very easy to type on and very easy to handle with one hand, not like the BlackBerry Passport. So it's rumored to be a mid-range phone, so mid-specs for the average user, I guess. And in my opinion, it looks very, very nice. I will definitely buy it if it comes out in the beginning of 2017. I think it will come out around this time. But yeah, it looks very promising and I'm very excited about this phone. Let me know in the comment section below if you will buy this phone. So let's continue to the third and last topic of BlackBerry News number five. And it's a thing that I said, I mentioned many times in my videos of last week and the week before, and it is that BlackBerry will continue their support till June 2017, which is great. I don't know if people were feeling that they are not able to use WhatsApp on the BlackBerry 10 devices after December 2016, but now they officially said that they will continue the support till June 2017 to make sure that everyone is able to switch to a supported phone without much hassle and without much stress. And that is what they said and that is great. They continue updating this application and I really enjoy that because I, I use a lot of WhatsApp on my personal phone which is a BlackBerry 10 device. So that's it with BlackBerry News episode 5. If you like this video then make sure you press the like button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to stay updated with the newest videos and also make sure to follow me on all my social media channels you can see down below right now. Also the pin to my BlackBerry Messenger channel is in the description box below. So see you in my next video. Until then. Bye.